Okay, it's the 17th of August and I wanted to show you what's happening in the veg plot. Uh, it's been a few months, I suppose. Um, the tree surgeons have been and they've uh, given me some nice mulch. Nice big pile of it. It's probably maybe one and a half cubic meters, I would have thought. Maybe two. Big, big load. So the herbs, sage, chives, oregano, put this net over to keep the rabbits off. We've obviously got the rosemary. That's a chili plant that doesn't really seem to be doing much. The, the dill has come back. Obviously it's, uh, it's now gone to seed because it's summer. Managed to get some chervil going. That's that one there from seed. Um, we've got the, the thyme there. Tarragon, mint. That's the courgette plant that I planted. Enormous. The autumn raspberries are coming along. Just netted, up, netted them off. Um, and yeah, I've planted some cabbages. Probably a bit late to plant these, but we'll see what happens. I suspect they won't form any heads, it's just too hot. The, the raspberries, this one has produced a few fruits and it's still going. It does need, it need a lot of watering, raspberries. So I'd like to set something up for them. About starting a new one for next year. Likewise, this one at the end. It is still fruiting, but it's putting up a a nice cane there for next summer. <clears throat> this one seems to be doing something. I think that's the next year's growth. This cane is dead. There's nothing on this, but it seems to still be alive. All the others, nothing's happened to them. There's a tomato plant I just put in. Over here, I planted tomatoes, courgettes. You can't see it, it's like the kingdom, the giant kingdom. It's just gone absolutely crazy. So, pumpkin, just to give you an idea of the size. It's about the size of what's that? A small, small football. Um, and yeah, they're just going off in all kinds of directions. So another one there. Asparagus has done okay. Um, some of the plants are getting eaten by rabbits, so I think I may have to put some fencing up. Regardless, I mean, look at this. It's just getting, it's getting chewed up. And uh, up at this end, these ones are doing all right, but you can still see they're getting, they're getting pruned, um, which obviously, you know, they start growing back and then the rabbits move in. So they're gonna need probably another season, but I'll probably have to put a fence up and um, just fence the whole lot off. Strawberries, had a couple of strawberries, but not very much. And then the rhubarb over there. And in this patch, yeah, we've got courgettes, squashes, and pumpkins. So you can see, Courgettes, courgette there. Hit them when they're small. Difficult to stay on top of because you can't really see what's happening and they grow so quickly. But yeah, they're taking over the lawn. There's a pumpkin. And then we've got some squashes. <coughs> you can tell the squashes are smaller. These ones seem to be getting eaten by 
by the rabbits. The rabbits having a go at these. They don't really seem to be enjoying themselves. They could probably do with being propped up. Up on a stick. Keep them off the ground. Probably won't work, they'll probably rot anyway. Yeah, there's a couple more over here, a couple of pumpkins. That one, and then there's another one there, that's quite big. Sort of a decent size, more oblong shape. And we've got other ones. This one growing in the bushes there. Got some good blackberries this year. These are nice, big, fat, juicy ones. So, um, yeah, it's not ideal having brambles in the garden, but at least you can make some, some jam, which is always nice. So yeah, I would say it's been a bit of a mixed bag, but all in all, um, it's better to be growing stuff than just spending your time mowing the weeds. Which is what I, what I spent most of my time doing. So yeah, we'll see what happens to these uh, these crops. I've also got a patch over here where the chickens used to be, which I'm going to seed. So I've just swept up all the branches and bits and bobs. So as we get closer to autumn, I'll keep I'll keep hoeing this, and then as we get closer to autumn, I'll. I'll plant some grass seed and we'll see if we can get this back to some kind of lawn shape. But yeah, there's so many brambles that need to be pruned. Um, yeah, what else have we got? There are some tomatoes growing on these, uh, on these plants. I don't know if they're gonna ripen in time, but uh, it would be nice. It would be nice to get some tomatoes. Yeah, these are the little squashes here. Like you have to go underneath so you can actually see them. So prolific. I need to go back. I mean, if you look at what it started out as, a few plants, it's just gone crazy. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll need to I'll have to fence this off. I think I'll, I'll get, to put, get these strawberry runners into pots and then um, maybe plant them out somewhere else. It'd be nice to have a big strawberry bed. I've only got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe 10 plants there. 